Yeah, I was three for ten from three, so maybe make a couple more, a couple more threes, be a little more efficient. Uh, but you know, glad we were able to squeak, squeeze out the win there at the end. Um, and we got an important one tomorrow, so quick turnaround. Did you feel any extra pressure uh, taking over the point tonight? No, nah, not at all. Um, just glad that we could win. You know, wanted to come in and just play a winning basketball and try to give us a chance to win at the end. So, you know, just thankful for the win and trying to get uh, two more in the next three days. Yeah, and you got a point, uh, chance to. Push the guys into overtime. Uh, walk me through that last shot to you know, hit it in regulation. Um, it was just reading the defense, you know. Uh, the big man was about a foot or two back from me, so I had a good space to get my feet under me and uh, just get a good, good look at the at a mid-range jumper. So something I practiced a lot and uh, wish that I would have won it, but, you know, we were able to get in overtime and, and capitalize. So thankful that we got the win. Obviously, Trey is a little bit more of a pass-first point guard. You're a little bit more of a shoot-first point guard. Do you see the offense being any different in your hands? Um, no, nah, I mean, I'm going to try to make the right play every time. Uh, maybe a little different because teams will have to maybe um, account for me more in the, in the ball screen and initial attack. But, um, you know, I'm just going to make the right play, uh, try to be efficient as possible, and just play, you know, winning basketball and compete. Um, you know, if I'm open, I'm more likely to shoot it probably than, than TD. And but if someone else is open, then um, you know I'm going to make the right play and give up, give up the ball and, and put it in the place that it needs to be to you know give us the best chance to have a good offensive possession. You always seem fearless out there when it comes to shooting. I mean, do you is that always the way you play? Um, yeah, it's just it's a mentality. You know, just it's some people just have it or they don't. You know, I've just been like that since young, uh, aggressive and confident and just not afraid of you know anyone. So just try to. Just be who I am. Obviously, the lineup changes a lot, but you guys have won four or five. Do you feel like you guys are gaining some momentum right now? Um, yeah, right now I feel like it'll be a good time for us to gain momentum. We haven't really had a streak uh, this year. You know, two, win two, lose two, win one, lose one. You know, win four out of five, then lose three out of four. So um, we're we're sitting at first in the division. So I think right now would be the best time for us to start uh, putting it together and uh, playing our best basketball going into the final stretch. We played pretty well. Uh, our previous 11 o'clock game in Brooklyn, and uh, we were fortunate to have another one, um, our, our, our very next one at 11 also here at home. Uh, really happy with how the guys uh, were calm. Um, they gave uh, clear messages to each other, and uh, I'm just really happy that we, we pulled it off in, in overtime. It was our second overtime win. Did you see anything different out of your team when you play these early games? Um, no, I mean, we got to be ready if we play at 8 a.m., 11 a.m., or 7 o'clock. So um, guys just got to get themselves ready for the game. Um, you know, it, it, we practice every day at 11, starting with our, our vitamins at 11, so guys should be used to this. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm just really happy that, you know, we brought energy and effort in the beginning and we sustained it all the way through. Yeah, it seemed like you guys, uh, you know, led most of the second half there, and then it seemed like every time – uh, they would get a, a three. And so it, was the three-point de defense concerning to you? Yeah, I mean, we did a pretty good job in the first half. Um, you know, th they have a lot of lasers, guys that shoot, you know, around 35% and above. So, uh, and, and they're a very good basketball team, um, one of the top teams um, in this league. And, uh, you know, it got chippy um, uh, for, for a game, going back and forth, a lot of technicals, hard fouls. Um, but, um, you know, I'm – uh, again, I mean, guys really came together and, and we, we pulled it off. When I uh, when I was out of practice uh, last week, you know, I talked to Rob Gray, and he'd only started a handful of games and started tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see him, just his stock rising, that it's hard to keep a guy like that on the bench? Yeah, actually that was Rob's first start uh, today. So, um, you know, his, 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 he's been working. He's been our hardest worker on the team. And um, he's he's really he's really grown since uh, day one in training camp, and uh, we definitely need him to, uh, to to help us win these games and and and, and help us lead this team. Um, you know the, the fact that he can score the ball, everyone knows that. But now, um, you know his, his ticket is going to be playing that point guard position, and uh, he's got to just continue to get one percent better. Um, but you know, as a heck of a job for uh, his first start. I guess I didn't do a good job keeping that stat. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> um, is it fair to say that the the point job point guard job is now his, or will you kind of audition guys, or how? Yeah, absolutely. I'm right now. Um, it's uh, it's Rob. Um, you know, he's been patient. Um, I really liked 
uh, his scoring off the bench for us, going against some of those second unit guys uh, in this league. But um, you know, Rob Rob is, hasn't complained. Um, he's been a pro about it, and uh, you know, he's he, now it's his opportunity. It's his it's his uh, starting job. As Trey was more of a, a distribute first guy, and Rob mm -hmm. seems to be correct me if I'm wrong, more of a shoot first guy. Mm -hmm. Um, does that change the dynamic of the offense at all? Or? No, I mean, we, we want to continue to, to share the basketball. Obviously, uh, Trey Dion and, and Rob are, you know, are two different players. But um, the one thing that Rob will be able to do is, is draw two guys. So um, obviously he can score. There's going to be a lot more guys loaded up on him, um, even trying to trap, trap him and get the ball out of his hands. Um, so you know, Rob understands that he's got he's to gotta, um, you know, share it. And uh, when he does, um, you know, guys got to be ready to attack and, and score. So, uh, you know, we've only had one practice and then a game today with, with him in the starting lineup. So it's, it's going to be a process, but I like our chances. I think this is four or five. I mean, I know the, the lineup has changed a lot, but do you feel like you're gaining some momentum? Yeah, absolutely. This is the time where uh, we want to, you know, go into stride. Um, the fact that we have all-star break after these two games, um, not – uh, very excited about that. Um, I wish we can continue to play here, but um, our, our mindset is to uh, is, is to take care of business here at home and continue to stay um, uh, you know, top of the division. Um, we got a really tough team in Windy City who's playing very good basketball coming in tomorrow. A lot of uh, former Mad Ants, Walt Lemon and CJ Fair that's going to be here. So uh, you know it's it, it's it's going to be a game for uh, you know the, the top of the division, and we just got to keep taking one game at a time. On the flip side, you had Alex Davis and his double double tonight. I mean, when you get a guy like that putting up numbers, it's, it's obviously good for you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Alex, he's he's I think he's had 17 out of the 21 games or 18 out of 22 now, where he's had double double. Um, I mean, the guy, he's his motor. I mean, he gets extra possessions for us offensively, which lead to corver threes and which lead to high percentage shots right around the rim. But um, you know, he's he's getting better every day. Um, he's Playing a lot of minutes, I'm expecting a lot from him, um, but he's definitely not playing like a rookie, and, and he's got he's got to keep continuing to get better. And do you feel like he got a little bit more support out of the uh, uh, quote unquote role players tonight? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, Jordan Barnett came in, played pretty well. I mean, it, it's got to be a, it's got to be a collective group. I thought Ike, uh, you know, gave us good minutes. Um, you know, and he didn't really uh, get any minutes in that second half, but trying to get some uh, a, a good a good five out there that's flowing, also, but. Um, you know, these guys got to be ready to play. Um, you know, a couple of days ago, uh, EK and Trey Down were with us, and now they're not with us. So uh, you, you, you play the players that are in front of you any given night, and, uh, you know, you go out there and, and, and try to keep playing good basketball and try to win the game.